Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Calling Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, I think we're going to try and get our first gym badge by defeating Faulkner, uh, which I believe uh, we, we the way to do it is by, uh, we have to go to Bellsprout Tower, clear that out. Um, we should be able to catch something new in Bellsprout Tower, which would be good. It's right, uh, well, what's this? Earl will show you all there is to Pokemon. Show you all. Show you all there is to Pokemon. There we go. Okay, I see what's happening. What about you? Faulkner. Mm, he's, a fine, he's, a, he's a fine trainer. He is. Okay, so something else. I'm going to... Uh, another rule I'm going to be implementing. And this one is that I cannot level my Pokemon past the highest level of the next gym leader's highest level Pokemon, right? So... Uh, Faulkner's highest level Pokemon is level 13. It's typically a Pidgeotto. Who knows what it's going to be this time? Um, but we cannot level past that. So if we take a quick look at the team, though, uh, you can see Miles is already almost there. He's a level 11. He's an amazing little Shinx. We have Morozova, level 7. Stantler, Pepper's at level 10. Waylord and uh, Andrea, a level 4. Worm it down. I have to say, uh, right out of the gate, I know everyone's just sort of new on the team, but and uh, I'm not typically a huge fan of Wormadams, but Andrea is just the littlest prankster. Every, it's like it's she's like she's like a good little luck charm here on the team. Like. Uh, as you know, uh, Warmer Nam's like hang down from stuff. She's been hanging off of Morozova's like antlers. She thinks that's hilarious. Been hanging off of Peppers because Peppers is huge and sort of floats around. Uh, provides really nice shade for the rest of everyone. But then Miles is just sort of like swatting up at her, uh, just, uh, like playfully, not like a dangerous way. So right now, good feelings uh, amongst the team. So um, I don't know how long Andrew will be here, but helping bring the team together thus far. Uh, let's see. Things we need to do before we do anything else, though. We need to go buy Pokeballs, I dare say. Hmm? Hmm. Yes. Because, uh, we don't... We have one. And how many can we get? One. Okay, cool. Uh, so... <laughs> we are... Very low. Uh, the... The catch for Andrea. Bonjour! Oh. Well, I just, you can just successfully lie to that guy. He'll just believe anything. That's fun. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer? Okay, so, well, maybe we should try, hopefully do is uh, fight a trainer before we run into anything because otherwise we might not have the Pokeballs required to catch whatever we run into, and that could be terrible. I would not like that one bit. Um, so let's see. Let's see... I don't think there's any other trainers we can really fight, though, in the meantime. We just sort of have to go into the Bellsprout Tower, right? I guess we could... I, what, did these people give you anything we could, like, sell? I don't think so. Oh, boy. This is a bummer. We can go out there and try and catch something. Or maybe we can see if there's a trainer out here we could fight. Route 36, can I fight you? You want to fight? You want to fight? No. Okay. What about you? Oh, HMO6? Rock Smash? Okay, that's interesting. Can anyone learn Rock Smash? Oh, that'd be a problem if, like, you, uh... We didn't catch any Pokemon that could, like, learn the, uh... The HMs? That'd be a real issue. Can anyone learn it? I bet... Oh, pff, Peppers can learn it. That's interesting. I'm not sure Rock Smash is the best move for Peppers to have, so maybe we're gonna hold off on that at the moment. But... We could get rid of Splash, but we, then we'll be stuck with uh, with that is the problem. So anyway, we're just going to have to go in and uh, Sprout Tower. It's not that we can't catch something. It's just that we only have two Pokeballs. And we'll see how it goes. And maybe we shouldn't be leading with uh, Andrea just at the moment. Let's... Ah! Let's lead with Morozova just now. So we're not too strong to knock out whatever it is. But if we if we manage to fight a trainer first and get some money, maybe we'll go buy some Pokeballs before we run into anything. Okay, here we go. First fight. Sprout Tower. Bring it on. A Weedle. Okay, not too bad. Easy enough. Just tackle that thing down. Easy. Way to go, Morozova. But what else could they have? Again, um, the trainers will not be monotyped this time, so... Uh, Piplop. Uh, keep battling. It'd be fun if we ran into a Piplop, huh? Oh! Dead. Dead. Salamence! Okay. 
<laughs> we also need to change the battle style to set. I'm uh, just recognizing that. Uh, Salamence. Salamence. Uh, oh gosh, Dracus is the, we're fighting, we're fighting, uh, let's see, um, gonna go to Peppers, I think. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that. It's a Salem. Look at that. Just fantastic. So early on. Oh boy. All right. Um, I think we're just going to use rollout because it's going to have, it'll be super effective on the fighting, on the flying type. And we're seven levels higher. See, like right now, this is okay. It's only a level three Salem. But when we get to the gym leader, if this was like a level 13 Salamence, you can see where the problems might start to arise. This guy's like, yeah, Weedle, Piplup, Salamence. Yeah, so you just you just don't know. You just don't know what we're gonna have. 144, so I'm not even sure that guy gave us enough money to buy another Pokeball, right? I don't think he did. Um, is this where you see how much money you have? Yeah, we still don't have enough money for another Pokeball, so that's a bummer. We're just gonna have to continue on through the tower. 144. It has a Salamence! A Paralyzed Hill, I don't think, yeah. All right. <clears throat> I cannot believe that. Here we go. We still haven't run into anything. We can run into stuff in Bellsprout Tower, so we can catch something in here. Oh gosh, please don't have anything scary. Please don't have anything. The good news is they're all level three. So even if they have scary stuff, we should just be able to take it down. Morozova gets some, a Banette. Yes, we're gonna need to switch Pokemon. We have to go into Peppers here. Oh gosh, I gotta, I gotta turn the set fights on. I'm sorry, I have uh, broken a few accidental rules. Peppers go to level 11, amazing. Gligar, keep battling. The other thing we have to watch out for is to not over level Peppers here. But this is the correct move is to keep Peppers out, I think. But thank you, 144. So we could actually, okay. I guess we could go try and buy another Pokeball. If I really think it's gonna be that big a deal. While I'm thinking about it though, let me switch the options, oops. Too fast, battle scene, battle style set. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see if we run into something before we exit the tower. It can buy our lone third Pokeball. Uh, okay, well this is our first encounter. Now we don't have to go, now we don't have to worry about it. And it's a Magmortar! Oh, goodness me, how exciting. I so want to catch it. I so badly want to catch it. I want the Magmortar, that would be such a cool catch. Do you guys think we can catch it? I want it. I want it. Okay. 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 Be quiet. So let's start a little way. It has a big cannon for an arm. You can see right into its arm socket. Just, 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 just. We only have two Pokeballs. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Just give it a, just a tackle there. Okay. Oh, we're burned. Oh, it's bad. Okay. So we're gonna switch to um. Let's switch to peppers because we'll resist the fire and we won't be burned. And it, um, yeah, it should just shouldn't be able to hurt. I guess it could burn us. That would still be bad. It's not very effective. Okay. okay. We only have, we really, we don't have any um, status moves on the team just yet. We have growl, water gun, a little lot splash. That doesn't do anything. Unless, unless I'm just completely missing something. Um, Check moves. What does this do? Um, I bet we could hit it with Astonish. I honestly think we could hit it with Astonish. Okay, I'm gonna have to shift and risk taking the burn damage for a second. Okay, sorry. Sorry, I should have done this the first time. The ember, the burn. Okay, I think we can risk this though. I think we can hit it with Astonish. No problem. Okay, we did it. Okay, I think that's as far as we can go though. Now we need to switch again. We're hitting with burn. We go back to peppers. Please don't get burned. Okay. We only have two. Oh my gosh! I so badly want this. This would be such a good catch. This would be, the problem is it's gonna have a really low catch rate too, because it's a fully evolved Pokemon. Oh man. Oh gosh. There's nothing more we can do though, right? Like there's really just all we can do is hope and pray. Please, 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 please. Please, please. Yes! Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes! That is so cool! Uh, 
Magma Char, the blast Pokemon. It blasts fireballs of over 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 that is awesome. I'm so happy. Oh, goodness, we need someone. Okay, this is sort of a funny name. I kind of like it, though. This is going to be Ice. Ice the Magmortar. Get it? <laughs> it's opposites. This is after Ice Cold 273K uh, in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome Ice to the team. Ice, he's so hot. <laughs> Ice to meet you. <laughs> oh, Bart, have fun with this one. <laughs> Oh gosh, Morozova, uh, a little bit hurt there. Let's let's get some healing action going on here. Oh my gosh, um, can you believe we have a um, Magmortar on the team? That is so cool. Uh, let's let's go ahead and I think just give it a. We're just gonna lead with ice right now. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is amazing. Are we back at the bottom floor? Did I go the wrong way? I did. Oh, how cool. How cool. Cool as ice. <laughs> oh, get ready for the ice puns, you guys. Get ready for all sorts of fun. Let's see. Now we have a trainer here. Um, should we lead with ice or should we not? Let's do it. We believe in ice. Watch him have like a wobble head or something with it. So eradicate, I don't like that one bit. And I don't think I'm actually gonna fight this with ice. We're gonna go straight to Miles. Why not use our big cat to fight? Oh gosh, he used um, focus energy. No tail whip, not, not great. Remember the tail whip though, that did happen. Wisma! Okay, it's going down. We should have brought it nice. Should have brought it nice. Oh, you know what? We're absolutely gonna bring it nice now. Look, this guy actually has a bell sprout in here. Fine whip. I don't think so. How about Ember? Yeah, but I thought. Mm -hmm. Like, it's gonna take ice a lot of uh, times to level up. I think it's gonna be the obvious thing because it's like such a high, it's gonna have low um, level up. Oh, potion. Okay, cool. Um, it's gonna have a slow level up. I train Pokemon for enlightenment. If you say so, he has an Empoleon. Oh gosh, okay. That's scary. Uh, we don't like that. We don't like that one bit. We're gonna switch to Miles. Okay, so this guy's not messing around, but we, at the very least, okay, so we lowered his attack, he lowered our attack. Let's hit it with a tackle. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're gonna have to leer this thing down hard. This thing has some, s oh! Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Mars over burn. I don't like that. Let's switch to Burns. Okay. At the very least, it has. We can growl it down too. Let's do that. Um. Let's do this now while we're in a nice position. Now we can try and roll out on this thing. I'm not sure that would be good. That would sort of lock us in. Let's see what Water Gun does. Probably not a lock because it's a water type, but it actually did more than I was expecting. Okay, I think we can definitely just wear it down with the Water Gun. The bubble's not gonna do anything to us. Okay, okay, okay. Woo, Empoleon, my goodness. That is a that is a tough fight right now. Ice Scooter level six, that's amazing. Miles, okay, oh gosh, woo. What a fight. What a fight right there out of the gate. Level, this is the, this is why the early game in the, uh, in the randomizer is so tough because you just don't know what they could have. You know what I mean? Like it could just be anything and it could always be so scary. And if you're not, if you're not ready for it yet, you're just, that's just it, you know? That's just it. Uh, so let's, I like having, I like, I mean, I like leading with ice, but I also feel like maybe before we let ice do too many fights, we should just uh, do this and have a nice, uh, safer 
fight up front. A bonnet again. Our, I like our. They're they're. Oh, they. I don't like them. They're like the. Mm. Mm. You can't hit them. <laughs> they are like they. Oh man. You should. I mean, Miles one was very upset that we missed that first catch, and it immediately formed some hatred in his eyes towards Bennett's and now one's back because I think Miles is like this is my fault I can't hit it um I, have to, I think Miles is going to be fa a fairly aggressive Pokemon not only was he pretty upset about the Bennett but he was really upset about the celery shanks like what is this imposter like if whew, like you can tell what a lot of what's driving him even early on is being better than that specific shank so we're definitely going to have to um switch here to, I think let's go to Peppers. Nightshade. Scary early move. Uh, we're going to water gun that thing. It's got curse. It kills itself. Did it Did it lay a curse on us, though, is the question. We got the... Because that's probably one of the more effective ways to hurt. Oh, it doesn't matter, because that was his last Pokemon. Okay. Wonderful. What about you? Are we going to have to fight our, our rival right now? Let me know how much you trust your Pokemon. All right. Let's go, dude. Bring it, man. Bring it. What do you got? A Starmie. Okay, not that concerned. It could have like psychic type moves. I really want. Oh, oh, the water gun. That was. Okay, man. I really need Miles to get some, uh, <laughs> some better coverage, is what I think. By, by, by which I mean just an actual electric type move. Swift. Mm -hmm. What? Well, Starmie. Okay. Peppers. Mammoth. Oh, a Mano Swine. Holy. Woo! I mean, it's scary running into these big, fully evolved things, but we also have some big, fully evolved things as well. So Peppers go to level 13. Oh, gosh. So now we really can't um, use Peppers anymore, or we won't be able to use Peppers in the gym fight. So that's its own level of scary. And maybe we should have used... We're going to heal Miles for sure. Maybe we should have done some training. I think, I think we're good, though. Um, I don't think we actually fight this guy right here. I think he's just... <laughs> I think he just, like, runs past you. Yeah. Okay. So we do have to fight that guy. And what are our options here? We have Morozova's Burned, which is sort of a bummer. And we can't really use Pepper. So really it's just down to Ice and Miles. I almost want to like go heal just so we have at the very least here's what we're at the very least we should use oh, we're only gonna have one potion left we should heal morozova so that at least there's that okay um here we go let's do it so good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People in Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. And allow me to check the ties between you and your Pokemon. Please don't have something insane. Mid arena, okay. Potentially dangerous for sure, because it probably has poison point or something like that, which is scary. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, but we can at the very least give it tackle here. Yeah, and we got poison pointed. Exactly what I was afraid of. And the scratch and the tackle. And the tackle, and the scratch, and the poison, and the tackle. And there we go. Okay, got a level out of that. We learned spark. Okay, that's a that's a exciting. Let's do. Let's heal from the poison. I don't think healing from the poison first is actually the move. I think first we want to heal, just in general. He's using double team. Okay, so that's annoying. Now we need to heal from the poison. Double team. Okay, so that's a problem, but at least we have Spark, and we all know how far Spark can take you. And, oh gosh, it would have been really great if we could have paralyzed him there, but we didn't. The good news is, is it's not lowering our accuracy, it's just... Oh, ouch, no, okay. Okay, come on. Yes, man, even with all those double teams, Miles is not to be fooled. And Bibberol. Okay, so the problem is, now that we're definitely going to level up when we defeat this thing, which means Miles... Actually, I might have to be benched for the first gym fight. That is a real problem. That is a problem. That is a problem. I don't like that, because now we're at level 13. Um, 
but there's really no getting around it. We'll get the experience no matter what. We're just gonna have to spark this thing. It is actually weak to us, so it should be a pretty easy kill. There's the level. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem in terms of not now being able to use Found the escape rope. Okay. So what we're actually gonna have to do now, uh, that really is a fraud. That's that's pretty unfortunate. Um, and we really can't even train peppers until the gym fight. So we have to get ready for the fight with just our remaining Pokemon. Not that we couldn't use them to like help train or like switch train or something. We just can't. level up too far. So let's go heal, first of all. And then we're gonna have to do some, I think at the very, some grinding a little bit just to get ready. We should also go ahead and get some more Pokeballs. Uh, we can get like, let's get seven. And we need some potions as well. Oh, we can only get one. All right, well, we'll get one. We'll get one. Let's, yeah, we got one. Um, then let's go to, uh, let's switch ice out to the front. And we're gonna go do some training with ice and Wormadam and yeah. Let's go back here. We're just gonna do some quick training and uh, I'll grind everyone up a little bit and uh, then we're gonna go take on the gym, I think. All right. Hey, like a beldum. We got warmer damn, it's fine. Alright, we are done with the grind. Here's where we're at. Just gotta run up to like level 10, I think, because we'll fight some trainers in the gym as well, and maybe we'll get some levels out of that. Um, but we have got ice at level 10. Uh, let's see, I haven't even looked at the stats yet for ice. Man, look at that, special attack 32, so strong. Oh, special attack 29. Look at that, look at Peppers. So, so powerful, so early, so fast. Uh, it's so weird not having like your starter be like the easily the strongest Pokemon on the team. Although 23 on the attack, nothing to scoff at there. We have um, Morozova up to level 11. Uh, picked up Hypnosis, which is going to be very useful, I think. Always good. Not very um, accurate, unfortunately. 60% accuracy, so a little better than 50% chance. A little, little better than a coin flip. Um, and then we have uh, Andrea, the Wormadom, who's got Tackle and Protect. Uh, senses the foe's dangerous moves. I don't. What does that mean? Like, it can sense super effective moves? I guess that's worth something. What other Oblivious? Prevents it from being infatuated. Oh, that's pretty good. So, um, cannot be... You can't use attract on it, so that's pretty good. And the flame body, uh, this ability, if they use a physical attack on us, they could get burned, which, you know, everyone's gonna get burned when they come into contact with ice, as is, as is the custom. So anyway, here we go. We're gonna head into the gym. I think there's just a couple of gym, uh, early gym trainers, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what Faulkner's got for us. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Oh, let's see, let's see, how do we do? Torchic! All right, well, I think we have the better fire type, frankly. I don't know about you guys, but uh, let's go ahead and just smog this guy. We also have... Oh, he's getting pumped. I don't like that. The other thing we have is um, smoke screen. So maybe we should try and... Actually, I think I am going to smoke screen because I don't want him to hit us with some weird critical hit. Growl. Our attack, though. And in the meantime, we're just going to keep smogging him because, yeah, that should pretty much take him down to poison. Just like that. Kaboom, first one down. Easy enough, easy enough. Let's see what this guy's got. Ho ho, you kind of, some kind of big shot? We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall? People are, people here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Let's see how well you have mastered birds, friend. Let's see. First of all, I got news for you. Um, it's not great news. That's not a bird. Um, let's start with a smoke screen here. Just, just, oh yeah. Just to, you know, give ourselves a little bit of an edge. Go for the ember. Didn't need the edge, it turns out. Um, I wonder how well that Kangaskhan 
fared as it fell from the rafters. Bird that it is. <laughs> and a Seedra, so we don't like that at all. Um, what we're gonna do here is switch, oh man, Andrea is actually, let's go to Morzova. Andrea could probably at least take the hits because it's like water type. Yeah, because it's grass type. Um, I think we can just tackle this thing though. Morozova is so strong. What did it use on us that poisoned us? That's weird. I don't know what happened there. Morozova got some levels there. Excellent. Okay, 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 okay. So now we are uh, ready for Faulkner. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Why? Because we're poisoned, and I don't like that. I'll be right back. And then we are going. Well, let's see. So we can use peppers in the uh, actual fight because. It doesn't matter if we level past Faulkner on during the fight, just before the fight we can't. So the only real massive disadvantage we have is that we can't use Miles in the gym pouch. which I don't think Miles is gonna be happy about. Um, but we can use Ice, Mores over Peppers, and if we need to, Andre, who does have Protect, so maybe we could stall something out. Like if we poison them with Smog, we could come in and use Protect to just stall for turns if we need to to let the poison damage build up. Um, Ice, I think we're gonna lead with because we have the Smoke Screen which is pretty good, or we could smog them and try the poison. Uh, and we can always switch into peppers if need be, and Morozova has the Intimidate, uh, and that's sort of where we're at. Okay, I think... Up, 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 here we go. I think I'm just... I don't know what else we can do. First gym battle, let's do this. Are we ready? Bring it on, dude. Faulkner. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of my magnificent bird Pokemon. You said bird Pokemon, like the phrase one too many times. Here we go. I'm nervous because he's going to have level 13. Like if his level 13 something is like big and it's, it could be. Okay, so he actually does have a bird type. That's hilarious. Um, I think... Maybe we open with the smoke screen just to give ourselves a little bit of. We could just uh, let's go. It could. Oh man! It actually it could have had keen eye, which would have been a waste of a turn. Wing attack actually does pretty solid damage. Let's go for the ember though. Ooh, the wing attack is is for real. Um, I don't like that. Let's. Should we potion our? I mean. We do have that We could use that on. We could use that to guarantee some hypnosis, I suppose. Let's see though. I don't. I think. I don't think we can hit Honchkrow again. It could miss with the wing attack. Let's actually let's do that. Let's use the potion and see if he misses on the wing attack. That'd be really good. It didn't. Okay, but it's not going to knock us out. So now I feel comfortable going with the Ember. Oh, and he used Haze. Okay, so it actually it doesn't have the accuracy loss now, but it doesn't matter because it's gonna die before it gets to um, benefit from that. So there we go, Ice takes out the first one. Good job, Ice. New attack, no, maybe. Oh, we have a, oh, a Grand Bolt. We, we all know how horribly scary that could be. It's, we know how strong it is. So here's actually what I'm gonna do. The big problem is it's attack stat, which is sky high, right? So we're gonna Morozova this guy to get the Intimidate out on it. Oh gosh, of course, our first battle. Oh, and it it, mm, it counters us. We're gonna switch to Peppers now though. So if we need to, so, so I don't wanna have that defense drop with this guy. So now, let's see how a water gun does. Fight, oh, okay. We can switch back to Morozova to throw yet another um, Intimidate on it too if we need to. Charm, okay, so our attack fell, but that doesn't really matter because water gun's a special attack. So we should still be pretty good. I think we've got it. We can just, yeah, I don't think, like he's lowered the defense, we can still fly. That makes me think he's gonna try and use a, um, like a potion or something right here. Um, and in that case, maybe it would be good to go for the Intimidate. Let's do that, because I think he's gonna potion here. Oh, he didn't, okay. Well, even so. He's weaker, all the same. We're gonna go for the tackle. Oh, didn't get it, didn't get it. Okay, but we should have the speed here. Now watch him potion though, right? 
This is where he would potion. So if he does do that, maybe we should take the opportunity to leer. Oh man, he doesn't, okay. It doesn't look like he has potions, so, okay. What a silly thing, it's like, they normally, they normally do. So I don't think we made the wrong call there. Pepper's good to level 14. What's in the Whirlpool? Um, we may as well at the very least lose Splash because it's terrible and not really an attack at all. So there we go. Easiest move we've ever learned. Orozova gets some levels. Yeah, boom, and just like that, we have got ourselves our first gym badge. Well done to the team. Jay received the Zephyr badge from Faulkner. With that badge, Pokemon, including trained Pokemon for level 20, will obey you without question. It allows you to use Rock Smash outside of battle. And we get, what is TM51? Roost. Oh, okay, great, great, great move. Uh, I wonder if, if perhaps uh, Peppers can learn Roost, because it's sort of like a flying-esque Pokemon. No, nothing can learn it though. Okay, no big deal. Weird thing to remember about Roost is that if you use Roost, um, you are not flying the next turn. Like what you have done is gotten onto the ground. So it like takes your typing away for one turn. Oh, Professor Elm, what do you want? Hello, Jay, we've discovered something. The details are well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Okay. Uh, let's see, let's go pick up the egg. Oh no, everything's weird. Hey, everything's back. Long time to see you, Jay. I've been waiting for you. All right, well, we picked up an egg, so I guess the egg will count as our Violet City Pokemon. What is this guy? Oh, a super potion from Mom. Thanks, I guess. Thanks for spending my money. Oh, what do you want? Oh, me, oh my, that egg must be... I see, so it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm. Now oh, I get it. Mmm. Oh, actually, this is really, this is actually pretty cool. Um, we can, because we have Flame Body, one of the weird effects of Flame Body is that if the, if the Pokemon who is first in your lineup has the ability Flame Body, which Ice does, it cuts the time you have to walk with an egg in half, which is really, really good. So we're gonna be able to hatch this egg really quickly and see what it is for our Violet City Pokemon. That's very fun. I can't believe the luck we had on that regard. And because we have the turbo button, we can just do this. And it, I mean, who's to say how long this could take? Maybe I'll just sit here and talk for an extended amount of time and remind you that if you haven't yet, you can go ahead and hit the like button because it really helps uh, get the, the YouTube algorithm to start pushing things out, you know, that, that, that and that's very helpful to get more people in on the adventure, which is so fun. And uh, your support is, of course, as always, tremendously um, welcome and appreciated. Um, I love watching these, I love doing these Nuzlocks with you guys. Look at our little, look at Ice just waddling along, along behind us like the giant fire duck that he is. I mean, my goodness, can you believe we caught that? Can you believe we caught it? It's such a, it's so fun. Oh, uh, but man, I tell you what, that first fight, it was, that was scaring me a little bit. I was like, we are, we are, what if, cause like, what if he'd set out like Mewtwo or something? What would we have done? I don't know. That could be the end. That's the thing. I'm so afraid of something sending out like a Mewtwo or something. That's, that would just be so horrifying. I wonder what the egg will be. I think the egg should be random. It shouldn't still, it's normally Togepi, but it shouldn't be this time. We're gonna just, we're just gonna, but you know, this is how you hatch eggs. Who's to say what it's gonna be? Leave your guesses. You know what? Leave a guess right now. What do you think the egg will be when it hatches? What will it be? I think it'll be a base level Pokemon at the very least. But what will it be? If you want the egg to be named after you, absolutely need to leave a comment down below. And you know, as I said it before, but just, you know, the, the likes are always so appreciated. Maybe we, what can, what would be a good like goal you guys think? Should we get, I think, I think 2000 likes. I think we could do it. Now I know we're just sitting here watching me run back and forth so you can see what on earth the egg will be. Boy, oh boy. Oh, 
Look at this. Just like that, we're going to find out what will the egg be. Oh, man. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hee hee hee, we got you. Spork.